Okay, hi and welcome to this short video on combustion. I'm going to look at two different reactions. The first one I'm going to look at is complete. Now this is when uh, a hydrocarbon burns in lots of oxygen, so it's got plenty of oxygen to react with. Generally if you burn something in, uh, in the atmosphere then uh, it has there's lots of oxygen around it reacts completely if you burn something in a enclosed space the oxygen runs out quite quickly and we get a different type of combustion occurring then if we look at complete i'm just going to take any hydrocarbon so i'm going to take ethane c2h6 and that reacts with oxygen because that's combustion it's just it reacting with oxygen we see it catching fire giving off lots of energy and this always forms two products we always get calm dioxide and we get water. So important just to note that we've got our carbon dioxide and water. So that's our complete combustion. You may have noticed that this isn't balanced. One of the things you have to do with uh, combustion questions is to balance certain equations. So to balance it, We'll follow a system we've seen in previous videos. So we've got two carbons here, six hydrogens, and two oxygens. And on here, we've got one carbon, two hydrogens, and three oxygens. So the first thing I can see is that oxygen's by itself here. Carbon and hydrogen always bonded to something. So I'm going to leave oxygen to last because I can just come to this one and do whatever I need to do to that O2. So I'll start with carbons. So I've got two on this side, so I need to get two here. So I'm going to put a two in front of that. Changes my carbons to two, so they now match. And I'm up to five oxygens. Four here, and one there. Next then, to look at my hydrogens, and I've got six here, so I need to get six here. So I'm going to put a three there, which gets my hydrogens to six. Now this is a bit of a tricky one, sometimes students make errors here. See if you can pause the video, see if you can think how many oxygens we now have on the right hand side. We should have seven. One of the common things students make, mistakes students make there, is to go, well I had five before, I've times one by three, so I should go up to eight, and they put eight there. But if we go back and just have a look, we have four here, and then we had one already, so when we times by three, we're actually only adding two more on because we have we're at five already we times three by one added them up to get to seven so that means we've got to get seven oxygens on this side seven doesn't easily go into or two doesn't go into seven so it's not going to be a whole number we times it by but we can in this case times by a half and that's because we've got two oxygens present here so if we times it by a half we'd be times if it was just a half we'd have just one oxygen times it by one and a half we get three and it still makes a whole number as long as this makes a whole number we're okay to use fractions so in this case three and a half gets us to seven and then we're nice and balanced and that is complete combustion where we get carbon dioxide the alternative to this is known as incomplete and as I said earlier this happens when we've got a lack of oxygen so C2H6 and it's combustion so it's still going to react with oxygen but this time the products are going to change and instead of carbon dioxide because we don't have enough oxygen to form carbon dioxide we now get carbon monoxide and then we also get water so we're still each time we get water the only thing that changes is we go from carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide so with this, two carbons, so you need to get this to two, so I'm going to put two there, six hydrogens, so again I'm going to put a three there. So this mirrors what we see up here, because the COs and the waters, or the CO2s and the waters, they depend on what hydrocarbon we've got. The oxygens are going to change though. And we know, said earlier, that it's in a limited amount of oxygen, so this is going to be a lower number down here. We'll get a lower number than three and a half. We see we've got 
two oxygens there and three there. So we've got a five in total on this side. So this is going to be two and a half. A quick way to be incomplete. I don't advise doing it this way. But a quick way just to check you've done it right is you can always look at the hydrocarbon you have if it's an alkane to work out what we've got here. This number, whatever goes here, is always this number. So they're always linked together. This number is always this number divided by two. And this number is always this number plus a half. So if it's C3H8, that'd be three and a half. C4H10, four and a half. That's just for incomplete. Use it to check your answers rather than answering them. But that, or they, those two, are the two different types of combustion that you need to know. Complete and incomplete. The important part is the products they form and then being able to balance the equations. Good luck.